Creepy Dolls and Strange Tales. <laughs> the oldest house in Midland just wrapped up a very spooky event. Ooh. Let's get right to ABC Bay 2's Rob Took live at the historic Brown Dorsey home in downtown Midland. Hey Rob, tonight's event was about celebrating history. Well, that's right, Madeline and Carson. It was about celebrating a spooky history. Now, the Midland Historical Society put this event on tonight for one night only. Now, just to be clear, this was not a haunted house. It was about telling strange stories using creepy dolls. And I'm told these stories are based on actual events. Now, this was a self-guided tour for a $10 donation. You got the chance to walk room to room in this home built in 1899 and it seems furniture and everything else is stuck in time inside these dimly lit rooms and there were dolls each with an unusual history and unusual story all right what do you guys think it's pretty great <laughs> They're getting a chance to wander around in an old historic home and maybe appreciate it. Kind of our, our sneaky way to get them to appreciate it. But there are no, 13 dolls scattered throughout the house. Some of them a little stranger than others. Every doll has a story with it and people can read those stories. They're all true story, true quotation marks, stories from Midland history. Uh, there's grisly murders, there's ghost stories, uh, there's strange happenings, there's haunted apartments. Now, this Mexican corn husk doll was used to tell the story of the Spanish flu, which killed three Midlanders around the time of the First World War. Other dolls were used to tell stories of cowboys in Midland who cheated death, or a terrible plane crash that landed in one Midland family's home, killing seven people. There was a story about a deadly duel on Main Street and how Disneyland almost made its way to Midland, but that clearly never happened. Even knocking within the walls of the Brown Dorsey home and misbehaving appliances. Now, most of the dolls came from the Historical Society's museum collection. A few others were privately donated. And I'm told all the donations made tonight will go towards this historic house's upkeep. And this is the first time they've ever done this. If it was successful, they plan on doing it again next year. Reporting live in Midland, Rob Tuke, ABC Big 2 News.